Hey guys, it's kind of recon a bridge and I just found a beehive. Can't camp under here. I was gonna camp under here on this railway tracks. This is a mad beehive. Crazy, yo. Look at that. Crazy bees, yo. All right, my name is Josh. You're watching Hidden Hammock. And right now, I'm with the Phantom Cat. And uh, we're running in on a railway track with an overbridge. Yep, that's right. I got one of the channel members with me. And that's one of the benefits of being a channel member. A member of this channel is that it gives you the opportunity to stealth camp with Hidden Hammock. Oh, we got signal? I don't know, I'll just check. Yep. Now right, let's do this. Phantom Cat, Hidden Hammock. So right now, we're heading down this double track towards the railway tracks. And then we're gonna double back to the bridge and find us somewhere to stealth camp. All right guys. We are gonna scramble up the bank here because there's not many places to hang the hammock by this bridge. Uh, so we're gonna build a base just on the side of the railway tracks and that. Let's go. Cars can see if they look down, but once we got under our top, should be fine. All right guys, this is us. We're just gonna stay right on the edge of this embankment next to the railway tracks. Hopefully we get to spot a few trains tonight. Cushion the bush style camping. Hung my daisy chain there. I'm just gonna connect my hammock between there and here. And Phantom Cat, so sitting his here and here. And then we're gonna put over tops and then we're gonna be looking out over railway tracks under this bridge. How cool is that? Fantastic. And boom, just like that, we've made camp. This is us tonight. Hidden hammock and the phantom cat down there. Come check this out. What do you think guys? Pretty awesome, eh? All right, bam, check this out. Supporting local burger joint. We're just pulling up to the, get some takeaways. I feel like a cheeseburger and some mussels. That's us. Thank you very much. Just basic, got some patty, bread, cheese, and lettuce. Hmm. Yum, yum, yum. Yum, thank you so much guys for donating to my channel. Thanks to everyone who donated on my last episode. Mad respect to Hammock Mountain, Jeanette M, PC with a big $50 US donation. Massive. And someone else. My boy John Long, what a beast. Thanks for donations. Uh. Bam. That's us tonight. Two hammocks just hidden in the bushes there, down the side of this bridge, just in there. Just want to thank Phantom Cat Stealth Camper for bringing me out to this railroad spot and stuff camping with me tonight. Thank you very much, brother. Fantastic. Bam, that's us.
I did originally think that we might be able to hang our hammock under this bridge, but the only recon I had was from a Google Earth image. And I'll, and I'll put up on the screen right now where we are. I don't know what this one says. This one says F gas 2020. And if we look closely here, it says lockdown. So this was obviously illegally tagged during the 2020 lockdown. And we got this one here, it says, what does that say? Select one and Miss Soka? Lockdown 2020 F gas. Oh, it's a plane. <laughs> it's a plane. We thought it was a train, but it's a plane. <laughs> that was so funny, guys. We thought it was our first train, so I scrambled down the bank, got into position, and it was just a plane going overhead. Oh, classic. Well, at least we know we're ready. Boom. All right. I put the tarp up, I got the hammock in. I've been for a little tour around the railway tracks. Now it's time to get ready for night mode. Let's do this. No, it's another one. It's another bloody plane. Bam. Step two. Cheers, brother. Jeez. Here's to a successful camp next to the train tracks. We're just waiting for a train now. Cheers, Cheers man. Cheers, brother. Thanks very much, Phantom Cap. Yeah, I saw those cars before. I freaked out for a sec. I thought we were in farm. Real for the farmers. I heard a quad bike earlier. I thought he was coming down here. And behind us is a corn farm. Should we investigate? Look at this. Someone is growing beautiful corn. I'm not a big thriller or horror movie buff, but if you know any horror movies, that have cornfields in them. Let us know what the name of the movie is in the in the comments. Fantastic, not ready yet, but in the future, there'll be some fresh corn for somebody. Hidden hammock on a corn farm. Phantom Cat's just gonna head back to the truck, get some more supplies. Your boy Hidden Hammock, he's just chilling in the hammock. First time since after the storm. We had a serious storm, guys, flooding. People lost their houses, 100 kilometers from here. Yeah, big storm last three days, but I'm safe, my family's safe, everything's good. But yeah, our prayers to all those who lost their home. It's now 8.35 and the sun has set. We are now in the twilight zone. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Phantom Cat. Mm. I'm more of a wild camper. Uh, I stealth camp probably, well, not as often as I'd like to. How'd you find out about Hidden Hammock? Uh, I was watching YouTube, I think it was like two years ago. And I was keeping up with Steve Wallace. He was obviously everybody knows him. And then Hidden Hammock came up and it was really funny. Uh, his first one that he made, I watched that one, and then I thought this guy's onto something. And I actually didn't know he was a Kiwi on his, <laughs> on his first one. I thought he was filming it in Aussie, but then I'd recognised the surroundings, and then I started watching more and more and more of his videos. And then I heard about the Stealth Alliance, the Alliance as well. So. The Stealth Camping Alliance. Stealth Camping Alliance. So. Who is your favourite member 
of the Stealth Camping Alliance that you like to watch on YouTube? That's a hard one. That's a really, really hard one. There's okay, really give me your top three then. Oh, well, even that. Um, I wouldn't put them in any order, but Weed in the Bush. He's got to be up there. All right, Weed in the Bush. Now he's just changed his name to Kush in the Bush. Kush in the Bush. Do you like his new name? I do. Yeah, I think it's pretty catchy. Yeah, yeah. All right, who's your number two? Oh, it'll be Canadian Beaver. The Canadian Beaver? Yeah. Smiling Scott? Yeah. Fantastic. All right, that's number two. Can you give us a third? It'll be... The old guy, level two. Random Adventures 2.0. All right, so we got another. I think it's in no particular order. No particular order. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random Adventures 2.0. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, fantastic. Thank you, Phantom Cat, for giving oh, us nice. your top three. Thank you. It's good to be out here with you too, uh, in the hammock. Ah oh, man, this is gonna be fun. Hopefully, we get a train. Just gotta wait for that train to come. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're probably not gonna get a train tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All that work for no train. Three planes and no train. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we have had three trains. Our planes, actually. All right, that's the moon slipping behind some dark cloud. That could be a sign that the storm has swung back around and it's going to give us another go. Another run for our money. Let's make sure that Phantom Cat and Hidden Hammock don't get drowned tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Me and the phantom cat have just jumped into our hammocks. It's now 10, 20 p.m. at night. It started raining now, so lucky we put up our tarps. And we were just finishing off our step two outside before we jumped into our hammocks and we heard some thunder. So, so hopefully, hopefully she just chucks it down. Because I need some good content. <laughs> I just want it to intensify into a heavy downpour. That would just be fantastic for me. A bit of action on the side of the railway tracks. Because I haven't even seen a train yet. Not one train. So some heavy rain will be much appreciated. Come, come. How awesome was that guys? That was intense! Yeah, we got one! Uh, holy schmoly! Man, I was in my hammock, I was in my sleeping bag. Man, I missed it really. I couldn't get down the bank. But hard, that was hard out, yo. That train was thundering through so fast. Man, that was speeding that train. That was intense. Wow. That was intense, guys. And I was in my sleeping bag. I had to get out of my sleeping bag, unzip the hammock. And yeah, I kind of just missed it, but at least we got some train footage for the night. I'm pretty stoked. Yeah. It's been raining for like two hours, just like this. A little bit of thunder every now and then, but just rain, 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 and rain. It's midnight now, and it's time to hit the candy shop. I have got a pack of Haribo Star Mix. So I dedicate this bag of lollies to PC. Thank you so much for your huge 50 US dollar donation during my last premiere. It was fantastic. So I dedicate these Haribos to you PC. Thank you very much. This is what we're working with in here. We have 
a stealth Pepsi Cola bottle. Let's try this. Mmm. Now these are what we had on our last camp, but they don't have the the tingy sugar on them. There wasn't much choice at the pack and save supermarket I went to. The shelves were absolutely bare and we were down to the last bottle of Pepsi, believe it or not, and I had to find it lying down on the back of the shelf, so we really had to scrape up the Pepsi and the lollies tonight. But uh, yeah, I dedicate these to PC. Thank you for your donation, brother. Awesome. All right, guys. We finished the lollies now, and uh, I think it's time for me to get some sleep. It's going to be a long night in this rain. Hopefully, I might be able to catch a few more trains by the morning. But if not, I'm going to lay back in my hammock and go to sleep now. Good night, Phantom Cat. Good night, Hood and Hammock. See you in the morning, bro. I got in, bro. Good night, YouTube. See you in the morning. Good morning, guys. We just had a train go by. Wow, epic. Good morning, guys. I woke up at 6.30 or 5.30 and I watched some Staff Camping Alliance members challenge videos. I watched Jamin Flame and Mick Happy Camper and Steve the Transit Camper is coming up in 23 minutes. So yeah, heaps of Alliance videos dropping today for the January challenge. But oh, this is us guys. We just woke up next to the train tracks. And I had a few trains go by. But I didn't get good footage yet. So hopefully we get one more this morning. Alright guys. I just been watching Steve the Chant to Camper and Cat and Baby. They went to the bowling alley and did a staff camp. Fantastic. Phantom Cap's awake now. Morning, Hayden. How are you Hi. going, brother? Good. Slept well. Tell us about last night. Oh, <clears throat> in a way, it was kind of downhearting. We had lots of trains. To get up and film them, we had missed them. I think you got a few going past that way. I had, I don't know, man. I can't remember because I was so tired. I don't know if I got them or not, but I got one. I managed to get one train for sure. Yeah, it's really good to hear them. I think there was about four during the night. The last one was at five o'clock. The, the rain had dropped off and I could hear it coming from a distance. Uh, it was a bit too hard to get up at that time in the morning. Yeah. And that was the last one, so hopefully we get one more coming through. See you guys. Phantom Cat's going to cook some breakfast this morning. Yeah, and Hidden Hammock's going to stand trackside, hopefully, <laughs> to get us a nice train shot. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. It did rain a lot last night, but it did stop by about 4 or 5 this morning, eh? Yeah. Dropped right off. I'm pretty keen to go live today too, but it's hard to find a, a time slot with all these Staff Camping Alliance uh, January Challenge videos dropping day two of the big January Challenge. So yeah, we got Hammock Mountain coming up next. Mad respect to Hammock Mountain. Thanks for donating to my channel the other day too, brother. And then we got Robin from Ho Jangles Outdoors, and I'm pretty excited for that. Can't wait to see it. All right, looks like 
Phantom Cat has got us some pork chops on the go, eh? Yeah, mate. And he's just seasoning that with some salt. And uh, how long is that going to take to cook butter? I'd say about 15 minutes, maybe. Just going to slow. Give it a flip, every seven minutes or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. A little makeshift kitchen. Fantastic, brother. Put up a little sauce on it. It was supposed to be our dinner last night, but a little bit tired. So. What did you say? It was supposed to be our dinner last night? Yeah. <laughs> now we're going to have a big breakfast. That'll get us through the day. All right, check it out, Squib. Looks like I'm eating again, properly. <laughs> you must be in shock and awe. Look at that, that's two real pork chops right there. It's gonna be squibbalicious. Rolling. This is amazing. Shall I just jump over the fence and grab us some corn, bro? Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> Grab us some fresh corn. Nah, we're not into that. It smells pretty good there, brother. This is how you convert a hammock into a kitchen bench. This is why hammocks are so versatile. You can sleep in them, you can lay in them, you can use them as a chair in the forest and you can also set it up as a kitchen bench for when you do your cooking. And that's us right there. We got two pork chops on the fry. And it looks like the brother's gonna do some eggs. Oh wow bro, this looks amazing bro. Look, once again guys, can't run away from good old Kiwi hospitality. Look at this. Brothers who met on the internet, now yeah, camping man. and cooking for each other, hanging hammocks, and, and hanging by the railway tracks. <laughs> and we've got the bread, fantastic. Wow, cutlery. I would have to use my chopsticks even. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that guys. Thank you Phantom Cat. Check that out, Squib. I was. Look at this. Squib's premiere is just dropping now. But I'm I'm having to have this breakfast with the Phantom Cat. Yeah. Thank you very much, Phantom Cat. Looks super, super delicious. Alright guys, this is us. I've already had a bite. I forgot to film, but here we are. I made myself a roll with two fried eggs and then I'm just gonna eat that pork chop by itself. You ready for this? Mm. Stuff camping mission complete. Thanks very much guys for waiting around for that. But we got it. Yeah. Thanks Phantom Cat. No Phantom Cat heard that train coming. Alright guys, I'm so happy now. Mission successful. Yeah. We got our train footage. And wow, look at this. That's where we're camping. You can see the Phantom Cat, his blue top there in the bush. And I'm just in there somewhere. Let's have a closer look. Yeah. 
successful, man. And wow, that was us last night, head and hammock, phantom cat, staff camping next to the railway tracks by a bridge. All right, guys, me and Phantom Cat, we had some breakfast. We had a night next to the railway tracks. We scored some awesome train footage. And now it's time to go. Let's pack this up. Hey, my little friend, little cream mantis. And boom, just like that, we all packed up. Let's go, Phantom Cat. All right, guys, that concludes another episode of Hidden Hammock. This was a special Phantom Cat edition next to the train tracks. And thanks very much for coming with us, Phantom Cat. Actually, thank you very much for bringing me here. And uh, thank you for cooking me some food. And thanks for meeting up with me. It's always awesome. And I know now to meet up with your channel members. So it's fantastic. This was the first subscriber that I've met up with from YouTube and the first channel member. So thank you very much, Phantom Cat. You're awesome. Oh, sorry. All right, thank you very much, Phantom Cat. You're a legend. Ooh.